Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I was able to build a complex music marketplace in under a week for one of my clients. So the feature includes such as Stripe Marketplace payment system, vocal uploads and purchase system, and also a sales management system for all the sellers that are selling their vocals on the platform. So basically, it's an exact replica of Vocalio, which is a popular project. Basically, it's ability for artists to upload the vocals and for producer to shop those vocals, which is the exact replica. The client wants something exactly like this. I'm going to jump straight into it and show you the app we built for the client and show you how I was able to build it on the week step by step. So let's first start with the user side of the app, right? So the app that the, basically what the producer says, basically for producer to actually look through the vocals and actually shop for them, right? So obviously on the right hand side, you have a list of all the vocals and basically you can start filtering them. So for example, I can go EDM, electronic, and then I can select mood, sad, I don't have any sad, happy, and then basically I can apply a gender, I can apply the BPM, the keys, everything right so this all depends on how many vocals in your marketplace the more you have the more choice you have but basically you can filter by anything you want right you can just filter them and obviously different music have different licenses so for example this one i would have basic pro and exclusive license and then basically this is like a faqs and also they can check the similar tracks but obviously some music the vocalist only want to provide the exclusive license you can see so basic and exclusive license, so really flexible. And then basically the producer, what the producer can do is obviously click into one of the vocals and start playing the music. So I'm not wow. too sure if you can hear it. It's basically like a BGM playing. And then basically if a producer feel like oh, it's a good, good music, what they can do is obviously they can view the license terms. For example, how many line writing shares, buying mastering shares, what's the price, and then basically whether all the terms or conditions if the for example the producer feel like this is something they want obviously they can click purchase and then they can actually purchase the vocal and the email will be sent with the vocals music just give it a sec so then if i'm uh, for example a producer i feel like this vocal is a good investment for me so this is obviously on the test mode but you can see how it works and then just give it a sec and basically after the purchase success now I'll get this link of the downloadable link and basically I can get the vocal and then I can just download into my computer. That's after the purchase success. So not only I can basically purchase these vocals, also I can also like these vocals and also I can start a chat with the user, right? So for example, I see this user who published this music, I can message them for, for example, like, hey, I can start with chat with them. So basically that means the user, the producer would have a dashboard as well. So let me show you the producer's dashboard. So on the dashboard page, basically I can see the music I liked, the music I purchased, my profile, obviously I can change my profile the description on YouTube, on Twitter, so people can know basically what I do and also inbox, right? So this inbox is basically where I can con communicate with the artist and also basically just talk about the vocals, the purchase, everything like that. So I can send a message, for example, yep, something like that. So basically the messages, I can see my live track, I can see my purchase, I can see my profile. So basically this is basically the overview of the basically the producer dashboard. So as you can see, it's pretty much same with the other product. So basically we have the filter, we have the dashboard. So it's a complete replica. So now the simple feature is done. Now let me show you the real complex part of the project, which is the artist management dashboard. So let's go step by step. I'll show you each of the features. So obviously they have the my profile feature, which basically they can upload the information, change the username, change the bio, upload the Facebook, upload the Instagram. So just a simple uh, updating the information feature, right? And of course, each artist would have their own stalling. So as you can see, this is a test URL. We haven't connected to an official URL yet, but basically you can see slash profile slash the user's basically username, right? Um, they can share this with the friends, share this in basically Facebook, and basically user can click on this, they will see the profile. So let me just demonstrate. So for example, if I click on this link, basically, you can see my profile, this is my image, this is the music up uploaded, the tracks, and also the plays I have, how many tracks I have, and a link to my social, basically the user can check out my socials. Also, we have a subscription tier, so basically 
if the artists decide to pay nineteen ninety nine per month, therefore we only take ten percent of each transaction that's happening on the platform. So, for example, a producer buys the artist's vocal, then we only take ten percent if they are basically a monthly paid plan. If they are on free plan, we will take twenty percent. So this is a subscription tier, and also basically the user would have the ability to connect the Stripe account. So therefore, we can do marketplace payment. Let me show you how the backend looks like. So for the marketplace transaction, we utilize the Stripe Connect function, as you can see. For each payment, we will take a fee. So if you have a look, so as you can take a look at the test mode, basically for each gross, we take a fee that come to our platform. And then basically the business, the artist would take home this much. So we'll utilize the Stripe Connect to make sure we take a commission on every transaction on the platform. It's just like how all the marketplace works. For example, Airbnb, Upwork, Fiverr, everything like that. We take a fee. And we can see how much lifetime total volume is being transacted by each business, by each artist in our case, and how much money we're making through the transaction between this artist and the other producers. And that's the payment. And then basically, this is upload function. The user can upload basically all the vocals they have. For example, choose the vocal, choose the BPM, choose the gender, choose the genre, and then basically upload the audio file. And then set the price for basic license, pro license, exclusive license. And that's how they upload the vocal into the platform. And also, the artists can track how many tracks they published, how many plays they got in total, and how many likes they got. And also, this is a sales dashboard where they can track how much sale they are making. So this is obviously after the commission. This is before the commission. And then they can track this month how much it made, last month how much it made, this year how much it made, and also basically how much their vocal sold for and how much they're getting after the commission. Basically, that's how the sales works. They can track all the sales here. And also the license, basically they can basically their license like details, such as what's included in the basic license, what's going to be in included in the pro license, what's going to be included in the exclusive license. So they can set that up and basically, so basically the producer who's purchasing it knows basically what right they have with the vocal you uploaded. And obviously they would have the chat section where they can talk to the producer. So for example, here I can message. Okay, now basically you can see is a message between me and the producer. And this is basically how it works. So just to break it all down, so basically I spent two days to develop the user marketplace function. Basically they can browse the vocals, play the vocals, and basically like the vocals and communicate with the, basically the artist and all the producer dashboard. And then I spent three days to develop the seller dashboard, which basically is all the function you see, for example, track the sales, track how many plays they're getting, communicating with the producers, and also updating the license, and also basically uploading the vocals. That took me three days. And then the last two days, the test and QA, basically just do quality assurance, make sure everything is perfect, and making sure the Stripe Connect function is actually working. So that's basically the whole flow. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a live build on the YouTube channel. So if you guys think that would be helpful, I can do that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this project. And 